Well, hello everyone, it's Liam Carlson here with uh, another couple of episodes of Modern Family. It's episode 11 and episode 12. Um, so I think we're just at the halfway point for this season, which is um, really, really insane, given the fact that um, it doesn't feel that long ago since I um, first started it but i guess if i were to do one episode a week i'd be on episode six right now so yeah but um this is a lot more convenient especially with them being 20 uh, minute episodes and all of that so yes but i am really enjoying my time for this first season so yeah we had an amazing bunch uh, or couple of episodes should i say last time around um which i think is probably my favorite of uh, the season so far uh, especially with the whole fizbo incident and uh, the shenanigans that entailed at luke's party as well as the fact that we had the christmas uh, i guess special i don't know if that's gonna I'm assuming it will um, be a recurrence over the course of the seasons, but uh, it was just really, uh, really fun stuff to see uh, what went down and all of that from um, shenanigans uh, inflicted to Jay and all of that, um, as well as, you know, um, this deep dive into uh, tradition um to the whole incident with cam and mitch as well with uh the um mall santa that they inadvertently got fired that was really really amazing so yeah it was really really great th those last uh, two episodes so i'm excited to get into these episodes it's episode 11 first off for season one let's go inwards with izzle it's top back you idiot <laughs> oh. Act more like an adult. What does act more like an adult even mean? Maturity. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you got so when you got felt. <laughs> really What's wrong? Little. Sweetie, you okay? Did he stitch no. himself or something? Oh, come on, one. Maybe the fireman will come. No, no, no. no Don't tell Luke no. that Phil the might be dying. In our town have a reputation for being hot. Do I resent? Uh, These guys are my friends. That new Benihana. They got a chef there. They can flip a shrimp in his own hat. What the hell? Oh, that was. Oh, it's his dad. Yeah. Oh, the infamous dad. Oh, that, huh? No, you're supposed to pick up Manny yesterday. No, but I bought them with my bare hands. Wow. Not as impressive as a story. A good Cuban cigar for Jay. Hey, why don't you take a picture of him with your new camera phone? I don't have a camera phone. You do now. You do now. <laughs> oh, oh I feel so bad for Jay here. It can make you agree to things before you even know it. You must have been pretty naive. Oh. Yeah, but now I'm with the right man, okay? Right. I mean, it's only going to stay one night. Good. Wait, what? Oh, no. At least it's one night, not <laughs> one week. Or if you happen to be a person who hates to hear another person suffer. Oh, poor, poor Cam. Two people suffer. <laughs> no, no, you got up to comfort her, but only teaches her that. I don't know if it's the colors or the, the sounds. Oh, here comes the nightclub massacre. She loves it. Watch her little eyelids. It's so cute. They what get so the heavy. What the fuck? Oh, my bad. God. Oh, honey. I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I'm yeah, just, that's not okay, going to traumatize the kid. Breathe. Just, just breathe. That's what I told you when you were in labor, and you threw my smoothie at me. <laughs> I'm he can't bear it since the late birds, it's, actually, no. it's fine. It's passing. It's passing. I'm sorry to alarm everyone. I think I was probably just overreacting because yeah. there was an alien inside of me. Oh, my God. Oh. But I'm just off chasing a good time. Hmm? You ever think it might be hard for me coming here? Why? Because of Gloria? Because of you. Oh. Oh, he is, oh no. Oh, heck. <laughs> the coffee table. That's okay. What? I broke the glass coffee table. The one you swore you didn't break? And then we blamed Esperanza? And this is reminding her, me and of the tree. she turkey at Thanksgiving for her family and got deported? Yeah. And the chair. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, we got a minute if you want to try on some tighter jeans. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, by all means, Claire, we want you looking your sexiest when the hunky gay fireman get here. How we doing? We're great. He meant me! All right. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I loved every minute of it. You played baseball? Shh. Oh, he's warming to his stuff, yeah. I made it to AAA, but I played with all those guys. Sosa, Maguire. Oh, hey, my goodness. Well, I 
Oh my god, what? This is the coolest night Holy ever. damn! Now, let's see about that curveball. Oh my god, he's 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 <laughs> out. I thought you were those were pillows. <laughs> <laughs> My wife got dressed up for the fireman last night. I didn't get dressed up for the fireman. Those heels were really hot. You put on heels? <laughs> Let's drop it. We're not Alex is purse stirring the pot. I had a little scratchy rock inside of me, and they're sliding in a tube and sucking it out. This is not going to happen, okay? But there is a scenario where you could be the man of the house, and you need to know all the PIN numbers and passwords. <laughs> 741. No, don't talk back to me. Honey, you Oh, my God. There we go again, don't talk. Yeah. For the last thing you ever said to me to be alive. Oh my god, the guilt trip. <laughs> she did dress up. Oh, she's just working. I'm dressed up just a tiny bit. Now that he knows you, the next time he needs something, you are the guy. Oh. Ay, Dios mío, did you talk him with you? You couldn't get the school to do that. Honey, you're not going to play Let's go. We're going to be so... kind of got work. Work. Go, Jay. Yeah, go, yes, Jay. go, Jay, and take money with you, too. Oh. Okay. No, man, oh, my God, she was being sarcastic. I'll put you Jay, in the... Jeez. I'm not going to argue anymore. I'm not going to say anything else. Do whatever you want. Cry. I'm coming for you, no, Lily. Not, you're not coming to camera. Feverizing's not working. The system is not what oh my god. Oh no. What? Oh my ankle. Oh no. These guys play. Javier says it's cool. Oh no. It's a joke. Nothing. It's just funny to me that you make fun of me because I was seduced by him and here you are. No one is getting seduced. You took a shine to him. Okay. I was already fine with it. Here's the deal. Claire messed up. She owed me. This <gasps> never happens. Old Phil has a golden ticket. You what? Yeah. I can cash that in right away for something small. <laughs> Get out of cleaning the garage. Hey, Elaine. Is this your husband? Uh-huh. Goodbye, Paris. I'm visiting my sister, and he was entertaining us all afternoon with his car. Oh, no. Isn't that Phil? Hey, oh, man. no. Uh -huh. <laughs> you blew it. Yeah, the violin, I like that. And we're both walking her down the aisle. They're both taking the shed. Oh, Assuming yeah. We can walk by then. Do, no. do you need to go to the hospital for that? No, God, no, no. It's, Get it's the fireman. Oh, you meant call 911, didn't you? Fireman. Yeah, yeah. You fireman. <laughs> of to course. Change my shirt. The idiot. All right, let's do it again. We really have to go. You think I like this? I'm sorry. Here. Oh, my. I'm, I'm going to teach you one, okay? On the count of three, just grab this. You ready? Put your hand okay. up. One, two, three. There it is. Oh, no. my. I wow. saw it. I saw it. Thank I you. saw it. Are you the magic's ruined. The magic is ruined. Oh, no. I saw that shit go fly over. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was really, really fun, like, especially with uh, the, of course, message at the beginning in terms of, like, um, you know, how does one act like an adult? Is it the one in the family? Is it the one, like, outside the world? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had um, a situation where people were just, like... Oh, like, I'm sure, like, of course, Lily was up all night as well with the crying and uh, ferberizing was not be really being an option in, in Mitch's world. So, but of course, we know that Manny was up all that. And uh, yeah, we had um, Phil's emergency there. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It was just really, really um, interesting to see how things went down with um, um, with certain um, stories, like especially when it came to Jay catering to Javier and uh, taking a bit of a sh uh, taking a bit of a shine to him, considering um, he's had some he's had certain gra and understandably because there has been a really less than repu reputable um, stance when it comes to Javier, so. Yeah, but, um, 
yeah, it, it was just really, really um, great stuff to, to see that story build. Um, because it did have him um, go from, of course, he's not going to, he, he's going to be very, very distant and he's going to be annoyed with w what he's done, like he was with the pool table. And then he lowered those walls, didn't he? So, and. Yeah, it, it is just a really, really sad situation that he just let himself go, get seduced, like Gloria did. And, of course, like with Gloria, um, Javier let Jay down, really. So, which is which I feel, felt like was going to come um, by the end of the episode. I had a feeling where the story was going to go um, in regards to Jay and, and Javier, because... Um, you could already see that the dynamic was going to work and Jay was going to think, oh, you know what, Javier might not be a bad guy at all. Um, but he's going to learn firsthand about the disappointment that will come. And the disappointment was... Because he's always... Because you had Gloria, of course, leave Javier for a reason. You've had Manny being let down. It's now Jay's turn to feel that brunt, right? So... Um, but it was kind of, it was, it was, it was kind of, uh, good stuff, so, um, yeah, but, yeah, it was, uh, you, you did feel so, so bad, uh, for, for Jay, because he got his hopes up so much, um, so, yeah, I, I did love the whole, um, uh, situation as well when it came to, um, Mitch and Cam, of course, when it came to um, Lily's resistance to sleep. So, can't believe Cam actually had the audacity to put Scott... Like, yeah, that's, that's how you traumatize a kid. <laughs> no. Um, I'm guessing that's a real, real meth... Because I know it's always... Um, like, it, it, it is um, a feasible solution, I guess, in terms of letting them exhaust... Letting the kids exhaust themselves to sleep. But, of course, you've got a difference of a bit... Of an opinion. Um, because... Um, you've got Mitch, who doesn't want to... Um, give the upper hand to Lily, um, and, uh, uh yeah, it, it would, it would, it would be like crying for attention in a sense in Mitch's head, I guess, so, yeah, but Cam, was, of course, is going to be very emotionally vulnerable, uh, which is okay, and it's a great way to look at these two different sides of things, um, to the point where, of course, um, they come up with a solution in terms of catering to Lily at the end of the day, uh, in terms of the different needs. So, yeah. Um, and there is that worry when it comes to, to, um, Mitch about how Cam will be, Cam will, Cam will be the good cop, essentially, in this whole situation. And, uh, um, there might, there might be a bit more of a bond between Lily and, and, and Cam in future years, and that's, and that, that's a situation that would hurt Mitch, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, I, I did love, of course, the whole moments of Cam trying to sneak in, and Mitch was just there like a hawk, so, <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, it was, it was really, really great stuff, and the whole Phil uh, situation, yeah, I really like the fact that we did open up on that question, though, because, um, you know, you're being told to act like you, the adults, um, and, you know, that that is a, a, a bit of a tricky one, considering Phil and, and how we've gotten to know him already. So, yeah, but I loved the whole situation there in regards to... Um, you know, Phil's uh, situation of of his kidney stones playing up and uh, Claire dressing up and all of that. So, yeah. And and the fact that he was ready to pounce uh, was, was Phil in regards to taking advantage of the guilt. Like, he was trying to push Claire into that guilt. Claire bought the bait. Um, it, it all didn't work, though, at the end of the day, because... Um, yeah, that kind of, uh, the, the, I guess the attraction that, um, Claire kind of wanted to feel, which is kind of sad when you think about it, considering the fact that she says 
that um, there was this idea of of wanting to to you know feel attractive and all of that. Um, but yeah, that that did bite him in the butt, didn't it? When you had those uh, patients there just flirting and all of that. So, but I was also just thinking back to episode two when you had that neighbor uh, and. Uh, um, obviously the whole, the whole bike incident, I think it was episode two, so, yeah, but, um, very, very fun stuff. So, let's get into episode number 12 of, um, this season. So, with that said... Okay. Where is it? Where is it? 12, boom. Okay. Sweet. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, that's the problem. Cool. Hey, um, uh, first of all, that's a combine. Not Bill, a Don't think that's the pressing smart, matter. <laughs> ten -year -old is looking at smut. It's disgusting. Oh, it's no. Unacceptable. Here's the thing. You that did it. Picture. Yeah, of course you did. Him that every time he looks at porn, God kills a puppy. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am a very lucky woman. I have a wonderful family, a beautiful home. There's nothing that I would change. Oh, this is a, we're gonna see. Oh, what the fuck? What the? F I hate that. Rub his chin a little under there. He likes that. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog and a butler. I mean, who couldn't love him? Oh, God. <laughs> I grew up one mile away from Missouri's largest water slide and third largest in the country. Oh, really? Cam, you'd never mentioned that before. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I can Cam tell that was sarcasm right from the bat. Is? I don't know. What was that? I just asked him if he wanted to have a glass of water and sit down for a minute, like any kind oh, of Oh, yeah. Would. Th on the bed. Oh no. Oh. Breasts are like these scary, mystical things that he's drawn to. Oh God. Like Frodo to Mordor. Okay, no. Definitely... No, 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 no. No. Boys don't want their moms talking to him about sex any more than girls want their dads talking to him. Let's just, just trust it. Fix that step. Just know He's never gonna fix I that step. This, okay. That's gonna be a long running joke, isn't it? He's never fixed the step. <laughs> hey Gloria, do you have any idea why Barkley was in the guest room? She speaks louder than words. Oh god. Yeah, they can be very revealing. <laughs> What are you trying to say? <laughs> Nothing, I'm not gonna say it. I am. Butler, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> you know what else I think is ridiculous? That mountain of pillows you have on our bed. This is an unholy mix between man and beast. <laughs> He's Fine. doing it so much, Put it whatever you want. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you this is terrible. <laughs> no, oh, no it'd be a long time before I bother you again with my pillow. Flincha. Free slap. Bring it up. Uh oh! Uh, uh, oh no! Oh no! Twenty nine. Can I be on the bottom now? Yep. <laughs> oh no! You know it might help the situation. Really? Jeez! Yeah. Come on, guys. I'm not going out for a few pizzas. <laughs> Where's your mind? <laughs> Guess I live in a house full of sex. Let's go to the puppet show, Cam. Let's go. Hi. Donde está mi novio? Su camión está aparcado afuera. I think this is oh, something to do with the garden. Oh, yes. Um, just down the hall to the right. Oh, oh gracias, gracias. heck. Wait, he just can't say no to anybody who needs help. And why do you have to always add the word gay where it doesn't belong? Hey, yeah. You're not mad at me. Jeez, You're mad Jay, at me come on. And chain. Okay, Dad. Good talk. See you later. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't mean it. Hey, I didn't mean it. I'm a little cranky sometimes. And sometimes even I can't believe we're together. But we're happy. At the end of the day, there's. No one I'd rather come home to. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you mean Gloria. <laughs> Who is he's holding that. <laughs> no. Well, I just heard. 
I was the one who read Haley's diary. Yeah. I was playing on a computer and it just opened. Okay, I opened it. But I didn't mean for anyone to fight. Oh. And now Luke's just the mastermind causing this chaos between the sisters. Is there a reason I can't go inside? No, no, no. no. Oh, God. He's having a word in here. La puedes besar. Hey! <laughs> like Anne Franks? What? All I know is, it really made me wonder about Haley. Oh That's god! <laughs> you really said- Oh my journal. god! You read my journal? You little creep! Oh sorry, boy, it's all coming out. Help it. Wait, Haley's journal too? Luke, you are now banned from the computer. <laughs> what happened? They don't have any privacy. Who was looking at naked pictures? That doesn't matter. I wasn't... Was it me? It's gross! I'm ten! Wait a minute. What's wrong with you people? There it is. You, who was it? Oh no. <laughs> Jigs up. Thing. Always can put himself first. He certainly can turn his back on someone suffering. Um. Shh. Oh no, my God. Going. Oh. He oh. Don't keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a chance. I came as soon as I heard your message. Did you say that somebody was getting married? Gloria, there you are. I've got good news. <laughs> I was just upset when I thought it was Luke. Haley, honey, Innocence. I know you would give me a hand with all this laundry. You never, ever. Haley's off in her own world. Alex has never really been a kid. But Luke is Last my episode. Baby. Yeah, innocent. Really you just imagine, like, in several seasons, Luke does a complete 180 from innocence to. Don't want to say asshole. Particular woman. Well. My tastes do run to the curvy, and the cowboy hat did not hurt one bit. Couple that with the cutoff jeans, and you were asking oh, about the weather, no. weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I regret nothing! I'll pay you. I'm a comfortable man. I've been stealing from your father for days. Oh, oh is there my any God. feeling in the world than having your ears flap in the wind? You know what? Get out. You mean it? <laughs> Sweet freedom? <laughs> I'm not part of the camera. Out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we hardly knew Barkley. We hardly knew him. Um, I mean, that is like terrifying to be pu putting on the, um, like right in the hall, like right in front of the uh, door and all of that. Like you get in and then you just see this, this dog. So yeah. Um. Oh man, I really, really love that. I love the fact that, like, in what the space of a few episodes, we've had two episodes where someone got the bl like for Claire's household. I guess we had someone who got the blame for something that wasn't their fault, and all of that. Uh, in regards to the whole, um, I mean, it wasn't all of the kids this time around. It was more so Luke, but it, it's still the notion of someone getting blamed for something that wasn't even their doing. Um, every like they were a completely innocent party. The only thing that Luke was uh, guilty of was reading through Haley's journal. So, which yeah, which which made sense. Um, but still, the picture incident did come as the I get like for that particular story. I think that came at the that was the um, more focused aspect, wasn't it? So yeah. Um, but I really, really loved that, like, moment where, you know, Claire, um, was relieved, not because of, um, the, I mean, there's going to be curiosities, uh, usually at that, uh, at, you know, when you come to, like, 12, 13 or whatever, but, um, I like the fact when she was reflecting on Alex and Haley, um, Especially when she ref reflected on Alex, and you think back to the last episode in regards to um, Alex contemplating what it's like to be a grown-up. Um, she singled out Luke in regards to, well, he's still just a baby at the end of the day. He's the youngest one, and um, 
there is that innocence. So I really, really loved it. So, because of course there is that worry that, you know, that innocence is going to go away. So there came my worry when uh, Phil confronted him outside with the uh, basketballs and all of that and talked, to the pic uh, talked about the picture. There was that worry that Phil was going to score two for two in terms of sabotaging um, Luke, I guess, because of the fact that obviously the whole idea was Claire thinking that um, the picture was seen by uh, Luke when it was by Phil, and uh, there was a worry that Phil was going to, you know, corrupt that innocence, etc., because, you know, Phil can be quite the doofus. So, yeah, but he just doesn't care. He just wants to thrive in that innocence, and we love it, uh, love him for it. So, but it's just got to make you think, like, what's going to happen in several seasons' time, potentially. I don't know. Um, is he going to be rebellious, etc.? What kind of changes is he going to go through? Um, I guess that's going to be a question I might, I might get to in a couple of years' time. I know it sounds that far away, but um, yeah. It, it it will just hit before you know it. So, yeah. I mean, I started like Gilmore Girls on my for Patreon exclusive um, last year, and I'm already on. Uh, I'm I'm already a, a, a bit of the way it through. Well, I've only a couple of episodes in season five, but still, I mean, it's just um, not that far off until I do conclude that. So, yeah, but. Um, and I, I, I think I'm going through that a bit longer. I don't, I can't remember, but because uh, some d episodes I do once a week. Anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, it was a really, really great episode, though. So, yeah, and I really did like the whole conflict situation when it came to, like I said, uh, Claire and Phil's story. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and. It was just really, it was just really, really fun all throughout in that, in in that aspect because uh, you had the yeah you had Alex thinking that uh, I thought they were going to lead further into like especially with the conversation prior with Alex and Claire. Um, I thought they were going to play that off further with the whole out of context uh, situation. Part of me that um, Alex heard from uh, Luke's room, so yeah. But, um, yeah, it was just really, really great stuff. I loved the whole Cam and uh, Mitchell situation, which I guess tied in really, really well when it came to uh, Jay and Gloria's story as well, because I really, really loved the, uh, you know, talk that Jay and um, uh, and uh, Mitch had when it came to reflecting on their retrospective partners. And it's true, like, you, you, you know, as good as the notion is in terms of people thinking, you know, someone having co someone that's completely like you, there is that also saying, there's also that saying opposites attract. And we do have a kind of a, um, we, we, we do have kind of that in that, as uh, in that aspect with Mitch and Cameron, especially when it comes to, um, how Cameron will just easily fold to, uh, charitable things and all of that. Um, and, there is that inability to 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 say no, whereas uh, Cam and and you think back to the last episode when it came to Lily and how, I mean, obviously that's going to be a lot more of a poignant uh, situation as well. But you just think back to how um, Cameron easily folded to Lily every time he heard her cry. Um, no matter how many times he entered the room, though, Mitch was like, no, don't do that. So, um, and we're seeing how, we're, we're kind of seeing that evolve in this episode when it came to, um, you know, the talk that Mitch had with, with Jay and how there is that, like, the, the it, you know, you, you do love the different uh, the differences between uh, people in terms of like well it would be a bit flat wouldn't it if you know you were alike to someone and all of that uh, alike to your significant others so yeah <clears throat> but yeah I really thought that the whole <laughs> the the whole Barkley thing was just great especially Gloria's re like with with Gloria thinking that it, it was the devil so El Diablo. So yeah, it was just, um, it was just really, really amazing. Um, 
And not just that, though, but the awkwardness between Jay and uh, and Barkley. That was just, yeah, that was just amazing. Like, I thought I wasn't seeing things when um, there was a compromising position with Jay and, and he's completely oblivious to it and, and Barkley. Um, and then they just kept... They just kept playing up that like uh, joke, wherever it was, him holding hands, and uh, uh, after Jay and Mitch's talk, it was like you are you are talking about Gloria, aren't you? Who else would I be talking about? There's complete obliviousness, and then the archway, of course, that was that was gold. So <laughs> it's it just works so well for uh, like stemming from Gloria's uh, initial fear of. The bloody uh, dog, um, and and how there is these comedic moments with with Jay and, and the dog. So yeah, it, it was just really really amazing. But um, yeah, it was a really really um, it was that I feel like that episode, like obviously between episodes eleven and episodes twelve, that episode was just absolutely nuts. Um, so. Yeah, um, even that, like the Anne Frank comment threw me off. Like I was not expecting, I was not expecting that. But yeah, uh, there was just, I think there was just so so much humor in this episode in particular. Uh, whether it was from Barkley and and Jay or um, just the picture incident, it was just really really great stuff. So. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that was these two episodes of Modern Family. Really loved it. Um, so, yeah, awesome stuff. So, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my BG feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!